So in today's video, we're going to be discussing compound without saying the word. And the reason I'm going to try not to use that dirty word is because I was watching the Investopedia YouTube video and Investopedia is a great resource, but for some reason, this particular video, the narrator guy is in love with the I word. He says it 27 times in two minutes. That's every 4.4 seconds. That's like the amount of F-bombs that they say in Scarface. Excuse me one moment. Okay, man. So, you want to watch this video, man? I'm not going to tell you to swipe away with your little finger, okay? So, say hello to my intro video. that no more man before we get started with this video man hit the like button for me also with the chainsaw and the subscribe button for me too also with the chainsaw man and finally the bell notification chainsaw icon sorry hit that with the chainsaw for me too man okay all that nonsense aside the goal of this video was to talk about compound and I'm still gonna try to do it without using that word as a little fun challenge to make this entertaining but you know what, it's gonna be really hard to do, so I need a filler word, so uh, something that sounds similar. Let's go with eggplant. Compound, what is compound eggplant? Okay, so compound eggplant is your investment growing and then further growth on top of that growth. The larger the balance gets, the larger the eggplant grows, and this is known as exponential growth. Okay, so years later, you're just gonna have this giant eggplant that, the eggplant emoji means what? All right, okay, let's try that again. Let's say, for example, you're the star of your own hit show on TLC, The Learning Channel, 100 Kids and Compound. Now, the cameras follow you and your 100 kids around while you do all the things that you would normally do, you know, hose them down for their nightly baths, all that kind of stuff. Eventually, they grow up and they start having kids of their own, hopefully not with each other. And then from there, TLC orders a whole bunch of spin-off shows based on your kits. So then you have, you know, 100 grandkids and compounding. So then TLC orders a whole bunch more shows, 100 great grandkids and compounding, and then you, as the big mama or the big papa, you collect royalties from your show and then all the spin-off shows. Your original investment of creating your family has spawned all these different families and all these different shows, all these different investments. That growth is exponential, and that is compound. All right, all right, here, here's a classic old riddle for you. How much money would you have if you doubled a penny every single day for 30 days? If your answer was, hey, Big Maddie, in Canada, we don't have pennies anymore, so what are you talking about? <laughs> Screw yourself. But seriously, take a minute and do the math. All right, and that's just about a minute. Did you do the math? Okay, the answer is over $5.3 million. Now, this sounds ridiculous. It's virtually impossible to double money that quickly but it's just to get you over the mind of, whoa, you can get there from a penny? What's important to take away here is the power of compounding. Now, if you were to graph how your money grows, it's not a straight line like, you know, like that. No, no, it's got a nice, it's got a nice curvaceous, hold on, let me do it. I'm gonna edit this later in post. I wanna make it look beautiful. It's gotta have a nice, uh, oh, like that. That's probably gonna look nice. It's a beautiful curve upwards. Now, in that penny doubled experiment, you actually don't crack even that first million until the 28th day. But then from there, it just takes off. So that beautiful curve just looks like magic. How does that even happen? Well, let's start simply. Now, if you invested a thousand dollars and let's say you had a 5% annual rate, what are you going to have after that first year? Did you do the math? You guessed it over $5.3 million. No, no, that's not right. You would have $1,050. Okay, so that's because 1,000 times 0 0.05, that's 5% as a decimal place. 1,000 times 0 0.05 equals 50. 50 on top of your original 1,000 equals 1,050. So it's pretty easy, right? Some of you nerds out there probably didn't even take out your protractor and your calculator. Good job. But with compounding, what you would make next year at 5% again 
wouldn't be another $50. It'd be 5% on that $1,050. And that would actually give you $52.50 on top of that $1,050. $1,102.50. Now, it doesn't seem like that much more, but with more money added and more time added, you'll begin to see compound take its very curvaceous shape. Okay, so how could we calculate that same $1,000 growing, say, over a 10-year period? Well, there's actually a calculation for that. I must warn you, we're about to do some grade 6 level math. If you don't want to stick around for this, leave now. You've been told. Or stick around if you want to be smarter than a 5th grader. Okay, so here it is. P multiplied by 1 plus I to the power of N divided by sine, cosine, tan, pi, carry the 1, Forget it, I'm just kidding. Okay, so P multiplied by one plus I to the power of N. What the hell is that? Let me explain. P represents the principal, the original amount that you are investing. I represents the uh, I word. I almost said it, but you know, that thing there. And N represents the number of years invested. Alrighty, so take out your trusty mobile cellular telephone. It can be one of the fancy Motorola ones, or it can be one of the lesser known Apple ones here like I got. Okay, open up the calculator app, give it a little flip, and then you're gonna get the scientific calculator. Okay, now remember, start with what's inside the brackets, one plus I. If we use the annual rate from the previous example, 0.05, we're doing one plus 0.05, so 1.05, punch it in. Now this is the rate that your investment will grow each year. And what we wanna do is we wanna multiply that by itself, depending on the number of years that it's growing. And that's why we have that exponent N. Find that little XY character on your calculator. This allows you to input whatever exponent you want. So we wanna put it 1.05 to the power of 10. So hit XY to the power of 10. You get 1.62. This is the rate of growth after 10 years. Okay, now multiply that 1.62 by that $1,000 and you're gonna get, you guessed it, over 5.3 million. No, no, you're going to get $1,628. Not too shabby, this is your new balance. Now, if you wanna know what you just made on the investment, just subtract your original principal investment, so 1,628 minus $1,628 is what you made on I word alone. And remember, this is a one-time investment of $1,000 at 5% growing and untouched for 10 years. Now, if you hated everything about the last two to three minutes, or you hate math, or just hate this video altogether, well, first off, why all the hate? <laughs> but second, you can do this online. Compound I word calculators are online. It's just kind of cool to peek behind the curtain and see that's how you get to that number. There's one that gets smarter about money. I will drop it in the description below. You can mess around with that and just kind of get excited by the numbers and what could be possible if you added more money, if you got a better I word rate or anything like that. And keep in mind when it comes to contributing more, if you're using this to buy stocks, or uh, index funds, you will most likely be paid a dividend. Now, dividends are a company's profit that's paid to you a shareholder simply for holding a share. They can get paid out through the year, they can get paid out every three months. You can then take this and reinvest it, thereby making your compounding even more confounding. I think that's a word. Okay, no more math. Now we're gonna talk science. This guy. Alberto Einstein, I'm sure you heard of him. He has a very famous quote. It is known as compound is the eighth wonder of the world. Now, why did he say that? Dude must have been rich. <laughs> hey, you would think with all that money, he'd pay for a decent trim, huh? <laughs> and so why did he say that? Well, in short, here's a brief example of just how wondrous it can be. Now, if you're 20 and watching this, could you save $50 a week? The answer should be yes. Especially if you're still living at home, your mom still cuts the crust off your bologna sandwiches, you have meals and a place to live, someone takes care of you, and your only job is, is to survive and make something of yourself. <laughs> Hopefully you can save $50. Now, if you invested $50 every week into index funds that pay an 8% annual rate from buying an index fund that tracks the stock market, through the magic of compounding, by the time you're 65, you could have $960,000. Now, I don't know many seniors with about a million cash. 
If they do, it's probably wrapped up in equity in their home, meaning they paid off their mortgage and they have a million dollar house, could be. Now that is just with $50 a week. Now, if you had started at the age of 30 instead, by the time you're 65, you would have accumulated $430,000. Now think about that. That's 10 years and that's way less than half the same amount. Now, if you're in your 40s or 50s or older than that, do not get this illusion. It does not mean that you still cannot get these kind of numbers. In fact, you might have the advantage of higher earning potential because you have so many skills. You can achieve that $960,000 balance too, but it's gonna involve larger contributions. If you're 40, you'll need to contribute about $275 a week. If you're 50, you need to contribute about $700 a week. So it's totally achievable, totally doable, but just you would have to make larger contributions because you don't have that same advantage of time. But specific numbers and age aside, don't get too wrapped up in that. The most important thing to do is to just start. Start today. The best time to start is always today. Second best time is tomorrow. The third best time is the day after tomorrow. That was a sick movie. No, it wasn't. <laughs> but you need to start. There exists a thing called lifestyle creep or lifestyle inflation. It's an increase in spending as your income goes up. Now this can be avoided by not living paycheck to paycheck, by not buying goofy things like you know, fancy suit. Now if you're young and you hope to have a house or a family one day, you need to have your money growing to be able to match the expense, the wave of expenses that are coming your way. And also if you're older and you're on your way to retirement, you need your money growing fast to be able to fund your life in retirement. And if you're not even thinking about either of those things and you're drowning in credit card debt or something like that, just know that Compound is working against you. So every day you do not pay off your full credit card balance by the day it's due, it compounds. It compounds daily. That's why when you're in credit card debt or payday loans, any of those kind of things, those ones need to go first because those are the ones that are gonna compound against you. They're gonna work the hardest against you. Going back to this guy, he said that compound is the eighth one of the world, but he also said that those who understand it earn it and those who don't pay it. So be the one to earn it. There you go. I did it. I went through the whole video without saying compound. I know it was a little long. It was a little dry. There was some math. There was a science guy with the hair and all that kind of stuff. But thank you for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it kept your interest. Thank you so Kept your interest. Whatever, man. I can say whatever I want. You know who I am, man? I told him I'm tired. <laughs>。We also have our free tool called Whoop Assets. The link is in the description. So open up a can of Whoop Assets.